Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi hello, my name is Loey. It has been a while since we did a proper try on haul here on my channel, don't you guys think? Uh, I don't even necessarily know why. Lately a lot of my try on hauls have been on the go. It's just been a really busy past year and I decided today to like actually properly sit down and give you guys a full on like in-house first impressions dolls kill haul. Now a lot of you guys have said from my most recent haul videos which are kind of like lookbooks and hauls all in one that you do like the aspect of like watching me style the pieces so I tried to keep a bit of that here in this video but like there are no shoes or anything like that uh, just some accessories some of which are also in the haul. So before we get into this my style is kind of between two different ideas, if this even makes any sense. Part of me is this pastel little princess who wants to wear fun colors and look like an anime character all the time, and the other part is more classic. Basically think like e-girl versus like my normal going to New York Fashion Week existing in the day-to-day -day public sides. So I know this is more like that fun, trendy kind of clothing stuff, and I feel like I should balance it out, but earlier this year, I'm talking way back in like the earliest parts of the summer, I filmed a festival lookbook, and a lot of the stuff is still available, but I also know we're going into fall. I really want to post it, but I wanted to know if you guys even wanted it at this point. I'll also definitely try to get out more practical clothing that can be worn on like the day to day to like work and more professional settings and stuff, but today we're just gonna have a bit of fun. I just realized my dress has been unbuttoned this whole time, oopsie daisy. Anyways, I guess it's best to just start off with what I'm wearing, and I'm so rusty at these, please bear with me. So this dress is super cute, it has a collar and it is a bit structured, but it's also just a a very comfortable stretchy fitted dress that fits me like a freaking glove. I love the color especially with my red hair. I never really used to wear like navy or a lot of blues in general I feel like but now that I've gone to the auburn side I definitely feel like I love the way that it makes my hair pop and this dress is just super comfy and I don't know, I think it's pretty casual, but you can also, you know, dress it up with various accessories. Actually, one that I think would go really well with it is this little backpack. It is kind of like that clueless, uh, inspired yellow plaid print. It has these fun little pom-poms right here as well, and it's a pretty decent size. I have other bags from Dolls Kill, and I do really like them, but a lot of them are like novelty bags, and I carry my camera, which I can't show you, because you're in it right now. Um, I carry it with me pretty much everywhere and it's probably about the height of this bag um, and probably the width of it too. I can take it on the go, I can fit my phone in here, my wallet, all of the necessities that I need throughout the day and I don't know, it's just really cute and really fun and it actually matches the next piece which is this adorable plaid yellow skirt. But I think we're gonna kind of divide these into more like outfits because that's sort of how I picked up these items. Some of this, like this outfit, was gifted to me by Dolls Kill, but a lot of it I also bought myself. I'd say it's pretty half and half. The top for this little outfit is this little blue baby doll cami and it just says who cares on it with a little bow. I thought it was really, really cute and it's just a very simple cotton tank top. Um, I love that blue color again. It looks good with my hair. And then I just have this little plaid skirt. And I really like this a lot. Um, it does kind of look a bit shiny and costumey when you look at it up close, but I found that once I wore it out, it didn't really translate that way. Um, at least I hope it didn't. It is really, really cute. I kind of wish it was more of a matte material because for some reason this just reads a bit uh, like I said, like it's like a costume, like I'm, you know, dressing up as Cher from Clueless, which I was last year. But I did really like the outfit overall, and I thought that it fit super well, which so many of Dolls Kill items do. Uh, so that was that look. This next outfit I actually had like overnighted to me. Dolls Kill was running like a Labor Day sale, and so everything was 20% off um, on top of already marked down prices for some things. Normally their plus pieces go like that, so I was really excited to 
get my hands on this fit and I wound up wearing it in a TikTok video that I did, but it is this really cute like sheer mesh shirt. It just has like rainbows and clouds and patterns all over it and it's this really, really cute pastel-y purple color. And then I got it actually with this little skirt. So the skirt is this like gorgeous sky blue color and it just buttons here at the side as well as zips up. It has a white trim at the bottom and actually underneath it has a little slip. So you don't have to worry about the skirt like flying up or anything because the slip itself is actually, it's not like a stretchy material. It's just like very um, stiff fabric. So it just stays right in place pretty much no matter what, it fits right to the body. And then the skirt over top is like this loosey goosey skater pleated skirt. I really love this top. It's from the Delia's line at Dolls Kill. It's like standard t-shirt material with a cute little dragon friend on it. And then it has sheer black mesh sleeves down the side. It's like a little bit shorter. It's more of like a cropped style. And what I wound up pairing it with was actually the reason I moved into this next look after my last outfit. I know it's such a stark difference in the color scheme. I paired it with this black like tennis skirt. I don't even know what you call these really. Is it just like a skater skirt? It's like that schoolgirl, like pleated and has the trim right here design. Um, but I paired it with this skirt and this skirt fits so perfectly. I don't feel like it's like super, super short. Um, and I definitely feel like confident wearing it out right now. This is also from the Delia's brand. So if you can snag this, I think this is a really great uh, like basic to have in your closet and I loved the way it looked with that shirt. So I love everything in this video but one of my favorite pieces is this like sheer stretchy blouse. I don't have a lot of blouses in my closet. I think just mostly because if I'm dressing up it's for like a work event so it's like a beauty brand event or it's for a fashion show or it's a party or something like that and I feel like I don't really gravitate towards blouses but I used to love wearing blouses back in my retail days and back when I like worked office jobs and stuff but I just felt like it was a more trendy way to do a blouse and I love the really pretty baby pink color and I loved that top so much that I also grabbed it in this blue color. And for both of them, I wound up just wearing a like white bodysuit underneath. You definitely have to wear something, whether it's a bra you wanna show off or a tank top or a bodysuit, but they are really nice basics to have and I think will pair with so many different things in my closet. I know what the same feel is this cardigan. It has like a fuzzy top, which is so, so, so cute. And then the rest of it is just the soft wool material and then it buttons obviously, like cardigans often do. I thought this was so cute and such a fun way to kind of warm up those styles. You know, I'm based out of California and also Georgia. It's still gonna be toasty for a while in both of those areas, but once it actually cools down, I can bring those pastel vibes into my wardrobe just using this really cute cardigan, and it's so soft. Now, I paired all of that with this argyle skirt. It's this pink and purple diamond pattern, and I'm obsessed with it. It looks like the covers of those books from the Click series. Do you guys remember that? It was like back in like middle school and high school for me. Maybe some of you are too young to even remember that series, but I like this skirt. I have a lot of like skater skirts and like flared styles in this haul just because a lot of that is what Dolls Kill has, but I like that this one was a more fitted skirt while still being super stretchy and super, super, super soft and comfortable. I wish you guys could like reach through the screen and feel this because it feels insanely soft. It's so comfy. I got this really sick dress. It's a sheer all over dress. So you need like a slip or something to wear underneath. For my try on purposes, I wore that bodysuit from earlier. However, you could also wear a slip underneath. I have an all nude slip. Uh, I kind of think I might wind up getting like a black one instead for this dress because I think it would be more striking. It just has long sleeves and little thumb holes. How cute is that? And it has all of these images of like pretty girls who look slightly distorted and like binary code. Is this an ARG on a dress? Who knows? All I do know is I really, really like it and I'm excited to wear it out. I also have a solid top in that same print. I didn't wind up doing a try on of this. Uh, I don't know why, I've already worn it once for one of my Blair Witch gameplay videos, but it has like a mock neck and it's just a standard little top. 
but same print as that dress. I love this skater skirt in like this astrology print. It feels sort of Harry Potter to me. I don't know why, but it just has all of these like astrology symbols and stuff all over. They have a matching top for this that the model was wearing. It's like a sheer top and the model was wearing it with just like a black bra. And I really wish I had gotten the whole look now in hindsight. I just wore it with a black tank top and it is cool, but I think the overall look, like everything together was so much cooler. So I may go back and go get that. But ultimately the skirt is really cute. And again, it's just that like skater style, um, like a bit pleated, not much to say except it fits really well. And I am excited to figure out how I want to style it. Is that really Snapchat? It is 3.39 in the morning. Who is awake? Corpse husband is awake, of course he is. With a somewhat similar feel is this really cute little slip dress. It's just covered in suns and moons and stars. And I think that the model was originally pairing this over like a white t-shirt. So I wound up pairing it over just a white like turtleneck. And I loved the overall look so fall. And especially with that little plaid bag from earlier, I think it would be such a fun autumn-y like spooky season fit. I really like the dress so much. It's super, super, super super stretchy and just fits really well. It's the same material as that Argyle skirt from earlier. It's so soft. It's like insane to me. Um, just a really comfy dress that I think I could easily wear from day into night. Let's talk about a little outfit that has been circulating my social media, um, just has been a little bit everywhere lately. And I will admit, this fit snapped. I have the full stylized outfit coming up in an Outfits of the Day video. It is my ultimate I'm baby fit, and it begins with this really cute sky blue little cami with a bunch of feathered trim. If you're curious, that is my second of that cami because the first one, Maya Dogs, got a hold of it and tore the feather trim off, so. But I paired it with this skirt, and the skirt is insane. It has clouds and little angel babies and like roses and all of this stuff all over it on this sky blue background. And oh my God, I love this freaking outfit. The skirt is insanely high quality. Actually, originally, I think the skirt was like 64 bucks, but I wound up getting it on sale for like 30 something, and then I just checked recently and it's already marked down to like $24. So um, I don't know if it's still on sale, but honestly, such a bargain for a piece that I'm so obsessed with. I wound up buying it again, like a second skirt that is just sitting in my closet in case I ruin that one. That is how obsessed I am. Now, this might be embarrassing or show how little I wanna try with my outfit sometimes, but I got the exact same outfit, but in a different colorway. So instead of a blue top, it is a purple top, literally exact same top, exact same proportions, uh, just same thing, purple. And then the same skirt, but in this pink print with like clouds all over it. Super simple, but I think looks totally, totally different and unique. After how obsessed I was with the first version, I couldn't like not get it again in different colorways. They also had that top in like pink, but I skipped that. I was like, I've exhausted this outfit a little bit too much to repeat it again. But ultimately I love both of those looks. I love that like pastel, like little angel baby feel and I'm baby. So recently I joined the pattern app and I have been so confused on my like time of birth. Uh, multiple times now I've gotten it wrong. I thought it was one time, it turned out it was totally a different time, uh, and I wasn't even born in the geographical location I was entering in on all my other birth charts. So recently what I'm leading up to is that I found out that I am a Leo rising and everything suddenly makes sense because all this time I thought I was a Gemini sun. Then I thought I was a Gemini moon because I'm born right on the cusp of um, Taurus and Gemini. Turns out I'm a Taurus sun and a Taurus moon and a Leo rising. So I decided to drown out all of the violent fear I was feeling after learning this by buying myself a Leo tank top. Um, it's just black like Leo and flames on it. But I loved how that paired with this skirt. And it's like this leopard printed pleated skirt, looks very feline altogether, very powerful, oh so Leo. I'm thriving in my newfound uh, fire placement in my astrology chart. 
uh, who knew? Before we jump into the final outfit, I do want to quickly talk through some accessories. A lot of the jewelry I've been wearing lately is Dolls Kill. Um, so when you see like my big chunky chain necklaces, those are from Dolls Kill, uh, like the big lock necklaces and stuff. But I had also picked up some new things. I got this little pair of snake earrings and I really love that there is snake jewelry out there. I'm a snake mom. Um, this one's like my little spaghetti, and then this one can be Marnie spaghetti is a ball python and Marnie is a gray banded king snake so not exactly a perfect representation of them but really cute nonetheless I also grabbed these cute little hair clips uh, they are just perfect little snap in clips that just like buckle onto your hair like so and they have little pom-poms oh that's cute we stand! I definitely love having things in my hair. I never used to, but lately I've just realized that it's so fun and such an easy way to like accessorize. I don't know why I've been so afraid of accessories in the past, but I thought these were really cute and I loved the whole pack of them. And for my final outfit and the final items in this haul, I have this little set. Uh, I did pair these together for this outfit, although they came separately. I like the look together a lot. It is a little purple halter top, and I haven't seen a halter top like this in years, but it's so fun. It has that purple argyle diamond print on it. Again, looks like something straight out of the click books. I'm absolutely freaking obsessed. And it is like a very fitted material, which is perfect because it flows almost like seamlessly into the skirt of this outfit, which is the same print, but in like a pencil skirt design. It is super, super comfy, which is nice. And again, I do feel like I have a lot of pleated skirts in this haul, uh, which I certainly don't mind, but it is nice to get some variety in here. And this is kind of my perfect mix between my dark and pastel sides. So it's in like that colorful purple, but it's also, again, on a bit of a darker end of things. Anyways, that is my Dolls Kill haul, and I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!